This is Anderson the Spider Silva, the former UFC middleweight champion of the world. And he's known as one of the greatest strikers in the UFC with 10 title defenses. And let me tell you why Jake Paul is gonna beat Anderson Silva. Because I got $500 on Jake Paul that he squishes the spider. And if I'm right, my FanDuel account is gonna look like this. But if if I'm wrong, it's gonna look like that because of Jake Paul giveth, Jake Paul taketh. So let's get it on and find out. Anderson Silva was a good fighter back in the day, but this is 2022 home dogs and in the world of boxing, Anderson Silva is old. And when you're old, that means you're slow. And in boxing, that makes you a goddamn dinosaur. Because as of right now, Anderson Silva is 47 years old. 47 years old. Anderson Silva is 18 years away from being considered an official senior citizen. Jake Paul is in his prime and Anderson Silva is out of his prime. And we are not talking about a prime Anderson Silva over here, everyone. All those Anderson Silva highlight videos that you see on YouTube are from 15, 20, years ago man Anderson Silva had his reign of terror in the MMA world but that era is over and in the past and I know it's gonna hurt a lot of people to hear this but out with the old and in with the new so let the past go and say hello to the future and I always bet on the future because father time waits for no one and whether you love him or hate him Jake Paul is the future of boxing there is just no way jake paul is gonna lose to an old man now anderson silva started his ufc career on june 28 2006 against chris lieben and from that point in time anderson silva's reign of terror began and he went on an impressive 16 fight win streak but on december 28 2013 anderson silva's mma career came to a crashing and horrific end on wikipedia it says tk yo leg injury which is a very nice way in putting it but if you saw the fight then you just witness a career ending injury my friend because when you throw a kick so hard that your leg freaking bends like gumby you are never going to be the same person again after something like that because if you look at anderson silva's mma record after that injury he's been on a non-stop losing streak Anderson Silva built his career on being a phenomenal MMA fighter. And if Jake Paul was going up against Anderson Silva in an MMA fight, then that would be an entirely different story here. But this is going to be a boxing fight, my friends, not MMA. And in a boxing fight, all you can do is throw hands to put down your opponent and send them to the shadow realm. Anderson Silva is going to be disarmed from most of his deadly weapons once he steps inside that boxing ring against Jake Paul. This matchup reminds me of the time when Conor McGregor fought against Floyd Mayweather and we all saw what happened to Conor McGregor and it looks like an a whooping is gonna happen to Anderson Silva too because we're talking about no knees, no kicks, no elbows, no takedowns, and definitely no submissions. Anderson Silva will put up a good fight just like Tyron Woodley did. But since Jake Paul has been boxing longer than Anderson Silva and training as if he's going for a world title, the spider is going to get squished, I tell you. Because once old man Silva starts to get tired and those hands start to drop, he's gonna get knocked out and sent to the shadow realm. And the ghost of Jake Paul is going to haunt poor Dana White once again. <laughs> So if everything goes according to plan and no one pulls out of this fight, get ready to see two of your favorite Street Fighter characters come to life in that boxing ring, everyone. But let me wrap this video up. Leave me a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win, Jake Paul or Anderson Silva?
But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want more, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all later.